This AI automation will take the details of the product and then it will turn that into a product page for your Shopify and spit out a bunch of social media posts based upon product descriptions very quickly, very easily. And what this enables you to do is save a massive amount of time. You don't have to write loads and loads of social media copies. You can just put the product description into a Google Sheet and within seconds get an output of 10 different social media posts or with different scenarios and different usages of the product as well as a product page. I'll show you how that works very quickly. So for this one, I've chosen just a random product of AliExpress. Let's say that you're going to drop ship this product. You, you want to create a post about it. So what I've done is I've copied and pasted this description and these specifications. So we just take this, just copy and paste that in here. There you go. And then we've got the website product page and the social media copies. Now I wrote this automation to be able to create lots of different uh, examples of social media copies and product pages. And we're going to put it all in this neatly uh, defined Google sheet here. So um, I've decided that I'm going to call the brand thermal edge here and it's going to be for the product page and for social media copies. Let me just quickly walk you through how this will work. So we've got the AI here is watching this Google sheet. You can see here product page plus socials. Okay, so it's watching this sheet here. It's watching for changes that happen. And you can see here that it is reading for the inputs. That input is actually referring to the range here. So it's a1 to A100, okay. Then it's going to take that and it's going to throw it into ChatGPT. So it's going to read the contents of the sheet. Then the AI is going to turn the vision into a product page based upon best in class product page structure, give recommendations for different scenarios that the hand warmers can be used in, the target audience is gamers, okay? So that's how we're going to develop the product page. Super simple, in your own AI automations, you can play around with the parameters, you can make it more tight. Let's say that there is a specific way that you have your product pages set up for the brands that you work with, you can utilize that. Okay, now onto the social media copies, turn the product page into 10 social media copies, each with a unique scenario, given the scenarios and uses features from the output of the product page. So I want to make sure that the social media posts are consistent with the product page so that within the consumer journey, if you see that copy on social media, it, it links up with the product page that you will then visit. And then the output here is given to the website product page and then also uh, the social media copies which are related here and here. So I'll just run this automation super quick, super simple, and we'll see how it works. Okay, so the automation has finished running. It's going to run a couple of times. I've set no limit on this, so we'll get a few variations. You can run it one time or you can run it more. It's entirely up to you, but let's see how the product page looks. Okay, so it's got the headline, stay warm, play hard with thermal edge hand warmers. Uh, it's a recommended a hero image. That's because it's really telling you what the best in class product structure is. If you use Shopify, obviously you've got a very standardized format, but still it's super cool. The product vision, okay, so it's got a product vision statement, description, the key features, why choose it, scenarios that you can use it in, such as all night raids, esports tournaments, online streaming, casual marathon sessions, Gaming on the go, that's a great one for mobile gamers. And then it gives us a selection of customer testimonials. I'm not making a recommendation whether you use that or not. But again, it's just following the classic structure. It's also giving you a pricing structure as well, which is pretty cool. And then call to actions here. So that's a nice little structure. And then you can see underneath as well, we've got a few different variations of what that should look like. So let's have a look at the social media copies next. We'll just go through the top ones here. Okay, so yeah, again, linking up with what's on the product page, super cool because every uh, product feature has a different scenario. So again, it's great that it links up into the consumer journey. You can see here that it's also listing out the specifications up to 10 hours of gaming. So is that synced here? Let's just check. Yeah, eight to 10 hours of gaming. Super cool, super easy. And I can just effectively rinse and repeat that. So just taking different products, put them into the 
spreadsheet here, super quick, super simple. And every time I need to get new social media copies for different products that might be released or generate new product pages, I can just come here and utilize this. Otherwise, a lot of people at the moment are going to like ChatGPT. It can take a little while. You might have to prompt it to give you the same output every time. If you use make.com, you can sort of skip that process and have a very standardized format that you can utilize over and over again. That's a super quick and simple video showing you how you can utilize make.com AI automation to quickly create product pages and social media copies based upon product specifications. And it's also awesome that it can generate different scenarios that you can use the product in, which can give more breadth to your brand when you come to use it. If you found this useful, please like, share and subscribe. Otherwise, leave comments for what kind of automations you'd like to see next. And I'll see you in the next video.